Because I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. Welcome back fellow Grand Strategists, my name is Dan Stone and I'm delighted for you to be able to join me today for another episode of Imperator Rome as a great and glorious Greek colony of Massalia in Southern Gaul. So in the last episode we kind of checked out the major Cicero update which was pretty sweet. I've got to say it looks really good um, if you actually don't know what it's about I just check out the previous episode and I kind of go through the little subtle changes. Well I won't say little subtle changes, I think there's some major changes. So uh, yeah, do go and check that out. Um, anyway, in this episode we are actually going to see what happens when we upgrade Massalia from a settlement to a city. So we only have to wait a couple of years, I think it's till the 2nd of June 496. So uh, yeah, let's click the uh, play button and let's go. Um, I also have a claim on these guys, but I won't declare war until I get some manpower back. I mean, Maybe half of my maximum. I need to get up to about 15,000 just to be sure. Because uh, they do have quite a few people. And someone died of dysentery. So basically he shat himself to death. That's basically what dysentery is. It's like a massive diarrhea and you shit yourself to death. Um, so that's uh, unfortunate for that dude. Anyway, let's take someone else in his place. It was a martial researcher so we could put somebody in. Now, I don't want to kind of put my best guys here, because I could do with them leading armies if necessary. So we're going to put this guy here. Um, the next uh, level down from 7 is, well, from 8 is 7, obviously. And we'll go for this guy, because his family's scorned. And if we put him in, he won't be scorned anymore. And he's very loyal, so uh, definitely put this guy in. So uh, that is all nice and rosy. Um, can I actually take some tech here? Maybe Fort Defense. Army Weight Modifier would be nice, I've got to say. National Commerce Income would be even better, so we'll go for State Harbor Fees. Yeah, let's go for State Harbor Fees. I think every level uh, of tech that we go up, they cost more. So it was 9 and 9.6, I think, so it's 10.20. It's not that bad, because we do make quite a few gold. We do make 4.37 per month, which is always nice. Um, right to be heard would be nice as well, just to get some more citizen um, output, which means more tech. Um, what else could I go for? Diplomatic Range, maybe. Navy morale recovery, time and happiness. Primary culture happiness could be good. Just gives a little bit of extra 1% in there, doesn't it? But I think the army weight or fort defense and army weight modifier. Army weight modifier. The more that means the more the more troops we can maintain in our in our settlement cities or metropolises. I could also raise kind of a, another light army here. Or even actually upgrade this army to a little bit bigger. Um, how, to, how do I do this? Now, I could actually add another couple of units of heavy infantry, which would be really nice. I would really like to do that. I think I'm probably going to do that. Let's add one. We'll add another one in a minute. Let's add two more. That brings it up to a total of five. I do also want to get some more heavy cav. Do I want to do that? Maybe not. Maybe one more, just to bring it up to a big round number of uh, 15,000 men. I suppose I could do it. I mean, we can maintain them. Do I, do I go for it? I mean, it would be nice, wouldn't it? It would really be nice. I mean, I would definitely like to have them. I mean, now we... Sh we'll have a look at the end of the month. Since we've added uh, two units of heavy infantry, we will see how much money we make. So we are making 4.31. It should take off around about... A gold a month, maybe. Maybe a little bit more. We'll see. Um, a small favour. The fortunes of political factions rise and fall about as frequently as a tide. So, ooh, this is quite good. So, today the populist faction approached Eritokritos, Olympiodorid, with the offer of a simple gift. So, what happens? So, National Freeman output. National Freeman happiness. I owe the populist faction two favours. Ah, fuck that. Who is he? Ah, oh, God. And he's not even getting loyal to me anymore. How many cohorts does he have? Does this guy have loyal to him? What if I reward veterans? Uh, it cost a fair bob. But I could do it, but I don't... He controls a lot of the cohorts, so I can't really... Yeah, I'm going to have to have it. Hopefully he will die pretty soon. I mean, I do hope he dies. Please die. Um, how much do we make? So 4.09. Yeah, we can definitely maintain another... Um, uh, yeah, let's maintain another heavy... Um, another heavy cav, which is always nice. There we go. That makes our army kind of a little more professional, maybe. <laughs> a little more deadly. 
because he does have a few allies, so um, the more men we have, that's all better. Now, I do make a fair bob, so it's not all that bad. How long now till Massalia is a city? Not too long now, just uh, under a year. Just under a year, about 11 months. Uh, election soon, so we do have the... Uh, oh, that's cool, it's a mercantile faction that's going to be um, kind of getting in there. So I'm probably actually going to support the mercantile faction, because I, I would like it to switch between the civic faction and the mercantile faction, just for the bonuses to money. Um, I mean, the civic faction gives you 20% national tax, and the uh, mercantile faction gives you 10% commerce income. So, uh, yeah, let's actually give them 10 seats. We'll lose a bit of stab, but we are at 56, and we're going down, because we have above the threshold of 50, and above a certain time it just goes down. So, uh, yeah, let's actually do that. We'll just, boom, again, a little bit of tyranny, but I'm not really bothered about that. But let's just give them a bit more seats. Which is all good. Oh, there's another button here. What's this? And there's more buttons. I didn't see this. Summon Curiate Assembly. Summon some of our most prodigious petitions to legitimise the appointments of the Senate. It can boost the capacities of your appointed governors. Oh, we're going to definitely test that out. Um, we'll test that out in a second. What was I going to do? I was going to do something important. Yes, check out the stab. How much will that cost? Let's sacrifice to the gods, just get the stab up a bit. We are losing 0.01 stab per month, so I want to get it up. So there we go. That'll go up to 0.18 plus per month, so which is always nice. Now, let's try this out. What does this do? Summon Curia Assembly. Curia Assembly, in relative comfort of the city walls, the favoured citizens of Massalia gather to cast their votes of approval or disapproval upon our appointed magistrates. This year, only one con only one candidate, Agaton Ratid, is presented for endorsement. While this is something of a oof, irregularity, sorry, the Assembly has agreed to meet and consider the endorsement of Agaton regardless. So, due to the finesse and corruption of the ruler, we have 64% success chance for this option. Success chance will be increased to 84%. So, I will consider... Agaton Aratid for endorsement. Okay. Hmm. The, the outcome of endorsements can include... What? Martial, civic, oratory, religious, or gold. And I lose 25 political influence. So, let us make an intercession on behalf of Agaton. Let us not interfere. Well, I don't have the political influence. So, let's see if the Assembly will make the right decision. Okay, Assembly endorses Agaton. So, in a fury of applause, the Speaker for the Curate Assembly approves of the continued appointment of Agaton Ratid, renowned Governor of Cisalpine Gaul. Okay, uh, with this newfound support, the Assembly convenes to approve the institution of several minor posts to aid Agaton in his duties. Thankfully, they have offered several options and request our decision as to which is the most appropriate for Agaton. Number of minor magistrates, so he gains one in he gains one civic stat and he gains twenty loyalty. Um, however, he gains friends in high places to the end of the game, which gives him a plus five power base. Uh, a renowned practitioner of rhetoric, so he gains more rhetoric. Uh, so he goes up. Oh, so he gains two rhetoric skills, so he goes from zero to two. Okay. Uh, holy man, or he gains some fervor, or gold, so he gains some money. Uh, let's get his. Um, Let's have a look where he is first. So he's the governor of Cisalpine Gaul. Oh, so he's here, okay. Yeah, let's get his civic stat up, because he's governor, so it could be useful. Oh yeah, let's go for it. So now he should be up to eight. Yes, he is. Okay, so now you can boost your stats to your governors, which is quite nice. So basically, if you want to... I mean, a good governor has a good uh, good finesse stat to actually kind of convert people and what, well, convert, assimilate, whatnot. So uh, that'd be uh, useful. Um, can I do another invention, maybe? Fort defence would be nice. National citizen output as well. Maybe I want to keep the money. Yeah, let's just keep the money. I could do with it. You never know when you like, like, might need it, so um, we'll definitely have that. Anyway, take off pause. I completely forgot I had it on pause. I keep forgetting. <laughs> but hey, that doesn't matter. Maybe I could do two more archers for them. I mean, that would be nice. Hmm, do I raise the amount of men? I probably would, actually. But I don't have enough manpower. Well, we'll just hold on the manpower at the moment. And I think this is the election. There we go. So it's now Akrotatos Ratid. He's basically shit. 0139. He's basically a religious prick. Which means he's pretty shit. Um, however, we do get 10% national commerce income. And plus 2 diplomatic relation. And empower mercantile faction cost minus 50%. Which is always good. Um, so we get st oh, a stability drop because the ruling party changes. Okay, uh, a new researcher is needed. Uh, we need a religious dude. 
Um, anyone who's probably scorned there because he's shit. So we'll put this guy in. We'll put uh, Azigonos Pited. He's nine uh, zeal. Um, so he's a, he's a furthest religious dude. Um, we'll put uh, what maybe he's quite loyal. So we'll put this guy in. And he's a member of the religious faction. So boom. In you go. The, the, the position suits you well, sir. Now, however, we have a bad research ratio. How come? Why is it bad? Hmm. Maybe if I actually go for this now, maybe the right to be heard might get it away. No, it hasn't. It's probably because we have don't have enough citizens, maybe. Um, let's have a look here. Anyone being promoted? What are you being? No, you're not being promoted. You're being promoted. A freeman's being promoted to what? A citizen, okay. Yeah, I'll probably do it on its own, to be fair. Anyway, we have a title on the sign, the Yirophant. He needs to be changed. I could put this guy, but he's shit. But we're not, so we're going to put Leonidas Pited. Or, yeah, he's the best position to do it. He's got eight zeal, so uh, we'll put this guy on, which is always nice. And let's keep going. So we are gaining 124 manpower per month, which is not a lot. I could do with a lot more. But that doesn't really matter. How much gold are we making now? 2.96. Gone down. That's normal. We've increased the size of our main army, which is always nice. So that's going to probably do a lot more damage now. And we do have this secondary army here, which would always help. What's this? Drill the army. Okay, we could do that at some point. Oh, we've got a drill icon now, which is nice. It's no longer the little uh, square and blocks and circles, whatever. Anyway, an envoy for the Gaelic power of Lexovia wants to import salt. As we are not exporting it, we would gain the following bonus, plus a minus 2.5%, and this would earn us 0.35. Okay. Well, let's do that. Hell yeah. Army maintenance is down, which is always nice. Getting a little bit more gold. Um, also in the um, Cicero update they've done, the big update for the patch, uh, now normally you're automatically on uh, don't export your surplus. I'm pretty sure. Um... Yeah, block surplus automatically. We can do manual trade, so we'll manually evaluate every trade good proposal we get. So, uh, at the moment, I've got uh, block surplus and manual trade on. Has this all changed, this little screen? I don't think so. I think it's all pretty much the same. Do I have any more um, trade routes available from anywhere? I do have one over here in Liguria, to be fair. And we can import some stuff now. So, maybe I could go for some leather. Oh, wine would be nice, but that's from me. Yeah, I don't want to import wine from yourself. Maybe some furs, maybe. We could get some furs in. What would that do? Starring experience, some leather. With a cohort recruit speed. Maybe some fish. But, no, that's from us. Um, I say we go for some furs. Hell yeah, from a Scordicia. There we go. So a little bit more gold. So it's another 0.3 something. So it gets our gold levels up per month. Which is always nice and good to have. Um, I think the only thing we can do now, really, is wait for that manpower to go up, and then I will declare war on this geezer down here. He has two allies. I have one. Together we can take him out. I'm pretty sure we can. Um, or there's this guy up here, which would be nice. How many people? He has uh, Allobrogia up to the north as a friend, and Ritenia to the side here. This could be a war that we could do. I mean, he has a few cohorts, and so does this guy, but... I think together we might be able to take him out. It is a possibility. Um, I think the best thing to do is probably fabricate a claim on this guy as well. Uh, cost us 20 political influence, but um, we might as well get it done. So of the comedy, we'll definitely do that. Uh, bipartisan support. Some issues tend to divide the House, and none more so than the military training standards. While it's been debated in the Senate, Antimakos Aratid approached our Archon and offered the support of a large portion of the military faction. Uh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's get some support. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. There seems to be a lot more events to do with like political parties and whatnot. So uh, might as well do them to see what actually happens. It's probably going to have some really bad negative effects at some point. But uh, hey, you have to you have to take it. Eh? Um, Tune is going down. Everything's pretty good at the moment. We're making a bit of money. Has our city been done yet? Ooh, it has. Why didn't I? Nice time. Nice to be how like kind of have a message to tell me that it's done. So what happens now? Okay, so now I have access to a fair few buildings. So apparently it was going to raise... The, it didn't raise the fort down, though. So we managed to keep the fort. Um, maybe it's buildings that were built before. Like, maybe it's the uh, slave estate mine, farming settlement. Maybe it's these. If you build them and upgrade it to a city, maybe it just destroys them. Maybe the fortress, it keeps it. 
But anyway, we could probably try and build something actually in Massalia. Let's have a look what we can do. Anyway, we can do training camps. Uh, okay, barracks, which is pretty much the same. That's not changed. The foundry as well. The marketplace is pretty useful. We'll get some commerce value. We could probably do that at some point. Um, a tax office, which is always quite nice to have. Hmm. That's what, plus 10% tax? A court of law, provincial loyalty. An academy, research points, and pop promotion speed. A granary, food capacity. Um... Library would give the following benefit. Citizen happiness, okay. Forums the same, that's not changed. Same with the workshop, temple, theatre, aqueduct. Okay, so that's not changed. They haven't done the icons yet. It's a shame. I would have thought they would have done them, but... Um, oh well, that doesn't really matter. Um, how much would it cost for a marketplace? 36 gold. We could do some buildings, actually, now. I think we're going to do some buildings in Massalia. Try and make it a capital worthy of its name. We can do a few. Um, I think the best thing to do is probably upgrade most of the... Um, how we can say most of the provincial capitals first two cities um, from settlements to cities and then try and do some metropolises how much does it cost for metropolis well that's a lot 290 gold and 100 political influence and the population has got to be equal or greater to 80 ok that's interesting so uh, let's see what we can build here then I've got enough gold let's try and build something pretty decent so we have what we're making plus 1% tax income plus only plus 0.16 uh, commerce income so it's probably best to do a, um, not a marketplace, but, um, well, it could be nice actually. We could do a marketplace, and then we'll do a tax office, maybe. And then maybe get like, I don't know, a library or academy court. Well, there's loads of things I want to actually build here. Uh, let's go for the marketplace first. Let's see if we can actually do one of them. Um, how long would it take? Oh, it's here, the bar is, so it takes uh, about a year. Yeah, a little bit less than a year, so that's not too bad. Um, the more money we have, the better, I suppose. We can't really do anything else, to be fair, for the moment. So we might as well just build some buildings and uh, try and get the capital up to a decent level. And then we'll go to the other places, the other provincial capitals, maybe, and up the level from a settlement to a city. Anyway, we've got martial advance, which is nice. We get a bit more morale for the army navies. However, the army maintenance cost and the navy maintenance cost goes up a little bit. Uh, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, but we do can now have the Boesian helmet, which gets discipline. Centuria, Quadrireme, discipline. And uh, galley slave, navy maintenance cost. Ooh, that'd be nice. Maybe get some galley slaves. Just get that navy maintenance down. Um, yep, naval maintenance cost minus 10%. That's always nice. We have a few, uh, few of these here, which cost us a fair bob. Minus 10% of that would save us a little bit of gold. Um, how much money are we making? 3.89. So we can just probably keep going for the manpower recovery speed. Yeah, let's go for the manpower recovery speed. Just get that up quickly. It's going up quite well. Once I do get to about 15,000, we will do a war, definitely. At least this way, we are getting prepared. I could probably actually drill, to be fair, uh, an army, maybe. Um, do I have a decent general? Yeah, we do, actually. Anti-master also ratted, siege ability, plus 10%, and 8 martial skills. So, uh, we do have a decent leader. Um, we are making a little bit of money, which is always nice. The marketplace has been built. That's nice. So I should actually get... Oh, so it got up the commerce value as well. Oh, okay. So it gets it up by 33% as well. And, uh... Oh, no. So it only does that by 33%. Okay. Um, what do I have here? I could build something else, actually, here. Let's, let's have a look. Neely. Um, what? Do I have... Oh, I have standardized construction as well, which is always quite good. Oh, Okay. We need to change that at some point. I did forget. We're going to keep it now since we are going on to do... We are going to be building shit, so... Um, might as well keep it. <laughs> we do save a bit of money with that on. Um, I think we could save a bit more if our rule of finesse was uh, a bit better. I mean, uh, what is our rule of finesse? There's only one. Who's the next guy that's going to come into power? Oh, so it's Dika... Dikairakos, whatever his name is. Oh, he's got zero finesse. He's even worse. He's like shitter than shit. Oh, well... <laughs> That doesn't matter. Uh, I'll build something else in here. Um, oh, disagreement on the highest level. Spartacos Sheridamid, a man of sound reputation, and Antimachos Aratid, a nobleman of great virtue, have recently started to spar furiously while attending the Senate. Such so behaviour is unbecoming of these people of the stature. However, we must be called upon to take a side in this latest conflict. So I side with the guy, so uh, I become friends with the party leader, which would be nice. And I become friends with the other party leader. Who do I want, the religious or the military faction? Who's got the most seats? Oh, it's definitely the military faction. Oh yeah, let's start with the military faction. Sure it. What I like is the populists have got none in there, which is good. I don't like populists. Unless I want to turn into a dictatorship, but I don't. I want to keep it as the Great Republic of Massalia. 
which would be nice. Does he still have allies? Yeah, he does. Could do with them breaking their alliances, really. Um, well, more pirates have plundered everywhere, but I can't really do anything about it. I would actually like to get rid of them, but they are giving me a nice buff here. They are giving me, like, local tax, which is always quite nice. So I don't want to get rid of them just yet. And I don't have the money to make a decent navy anyway. I'd like sooner make more ground troops to kind of kick crap out of my barbarian neighbours. Um, oh, God, the party leader I befriended, he just died of leprosy. Is he serious? Oh, he's a leper and he died. I should have paid attention. Oh, well. <laughs> I befriended a leper. I'll probably get it next. Minor inheritance. In an unusual turn of events, Akratos Aratid has been named successor to little-known landholder in Valentia. The lands are ripe for development, yet an old friend, uh, Ac Akrotatos Syra, Olympiodorid, uh, has lodged a formal complaint against proceedings, claiming that the money rightfully belonged to her. So I, I, I gained 200 gold um, and uh, gained 10 loyalty. I don't know. I don't know why I can gain loyalty to myself. And I stopped being friends with Syrah. Or sell the land and split the profit. Or confiscate the land on the behalf of the state. Hell yeah, let's uh, let's confiscate the land on like behalf of the state. So this old woman's pretty pissed. Um, yeah, let's just confiscate it. More money. <laughs> More local tax. We'll definitely have some of that. Um, now I can build a new building. So I'll probably go for maybe a tax office. It would be nice, though, to have, um... To get an academy would be good. A court of law I don't really need. A library would be good. I mean, what is the citizen happiness? I mean, it should be quite high. Yeah, it's quite high. I don't need that. Um, what would that do? An aqueduct, pop capacity, migration attraction would be good. Theatre don't need. Temple don't need. Workshop don't need. Forum don't need. Tax office. Boom. Let's build us that tax office. It's always nice to get one of them in. I could probably go for a training camp next. Which would be good. Get a little bit more manpower. Because we are getting 115 per month. Could do with a bit more to be fair. So, uh, Oh shit, what's all this? Where do they come from? Uh, well, let's go and see if we can actually take them out. Let's see what's going to happen once they take that. They're actually going to try and take out my fort, I think. Um... Now, I do have more men. Oh, I can't believe it. Um, I need a general in there now. So, we're going to put a commander in. Let's put someone pretty decent. Let's put Theodoros Pited in. Um, just because he's got the highest martial stat. Same level as this guy. We will move um, the light infantry with them as well. Just to be sure. Now, he's losing men. Now, I probably could take him out with just this here. With my, uh, my second army here. Probably the best thing to do. Because I don't want him, bust I don't want him like kind of killing any of my pops. So uh, yeah, we're going to take him out pretty easily. So I don't really need them. I'll leave him there just in case, maybe. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Have no heavy infantry. See, this is the where the heavy infantry and the uh, heavy cav they really, really hurt. I mean, they do morale damage to them. It proper hurts. So that's them gone. Um, we did lose a bit of men, so it's actually going to take a bit of time to recoup. But we'll put them back in Massalia anyway. We'll put these back here in Arcalate. And uh, we'll keep going. So the barbarians have gone. That's got rid of them. Maybe I can negotiate with them. Nah, they won't surrender. So they'll just go and attack this guy, which is quite good. That's going to weaken up the neighbour I wanted to attack, which is always nice. We built the tax office now, which uh, kind of got that up a little bit more, which means we should be making a bit more money. Um, Olympic Games. Who do I send? I send the Dadukos. But he's shit. Or I send the son of the Strategos, and he's also shit. Let's send the son of the Strategos. Let's send Ifricrates. Ifricrates. Let's send this guy. So he's off. Uh, we're making a little bit of gold. Oh, please just... Oh, damn. I'm hoping that he's got no morale, so that's why he kicked the crap out of him. So, <laughs> But that doesn't matter anyway. Um, probably build some more stuff in here now. Let's see if we can build maybe... Maybe a barracks would be nice. Uh, or a training camp would be good. Just give me an extra 19 per month. Uh, yeah, let's go for the training camp. That would always be nice. I can build seven buildings, so I might as well build a few. Kind of see if we can actually build a capital worthy of the name capital. Uh, so yeah, that manpower we build, you're losing it. Uh, because we kind of lost men during the battle, so... Oh well. 
Not much can be done there, I'm afraid. Uh, we are making a claim over there, which is always nice. This dude here has a few... Yeah, I can't do much there. Veterans move on. The prime farmland granted to veterans of battle is a simple recognition of the service to Massalia. Sometimes, however, the lure of battles and glory can prove too much for the unaccustomed life of a menial labour. So we gain... Oh, that's a quite... That's a good event, that. So I gain um, uh, manpower. So I gain 1,681 manpower. But I also get... State-owned farmland in Sextantio, which gives us local unrest minus one, and local tax plus 15, so we'll have that. That's always nice. So it gets the manpower back up a little bit, which is cool. Uh, culture map mode, nothing really changed here. I don't think this is changing too much. Oh, it's taking bloody ages. Ages, ages, ages. Um, but why is it taking so long? Um, I don't know why it's taking so long. Uh, who is, is is the... What's the guy? What is this? It's the Freeman who is not the right um, culture. How long is it going to take? 580. What? Oh my god, that's ages. And why is it taking so long? I think I've got the right uh, religion. So, uh, do I have a building in there that could help? I have a theatre. Oh, that's taking ages. It's really taking a long time. Uh, oh, well, uh, doesn't matter. Anyway, Olympics concluded. Uh, but next time, every guy we sent is shit, so he's not really going to win the Olympics, is he? <laughs> Let's face it. We are building a training camp here. I'll probably build afterwards maybe another marketplace, because uh, that did give a nice little buff to that there, to the, commerce, to the commerce income, which was quite nice. Yeah, we could probably build another one. Who died? Tildamas Olympiador died at the age of 73. Uh, was he the guy who had... Oh, yeah, he was the guy who had most uh, quite a lot of loyal troops in the main army, so that's not too bad. Uh, we need to replace him, though, the uh, Ariopagus. Are Ariopag uh, uh, he spits scorned, but I don't want to put this guy because he's shit. Well, I could, actually. Uh, screw it. Let's put Kalistratos just to get rid of the scorn thing. You only get 5% national tax income from that, but... Oh, well, doesn't matter. We'll kind of make sure that the... Uh, we'll compensate that from the uh, buildings we're going to build in Massalia. Um, where's the next place I could do with actually buffing up? Somewhere with a lot of pops. This place could be quite nice. However, these guys aren't very happy. Why aren't they happy? Because I think it's because they're not the same religion as me. And the same culture. Yeah, that's why. I could have actually done with a temple instead. If I would have known the patch would have changed this. And now, because if you remember before the patch, it was going up really nicely. Um, if I knew that uh, the religion, as the religious aspect kind of took more of a like, kind of premier role, I would actually build temple, built temples instead. But um, it, it's not overly bad. Hopefully it will go quickly. At least the province food is up and stored, so none of the peoples are starving. Uh, anyway, the manpower's going back up. A bit more gold coming up, so I can build a marketplace. I think we'll build another marketplace. Definitely build another marketplace. Let's build that marketplace. So it gets my income up a little bit more. We get the commerce income up a bit. Yeah, we'll build another one of them. Um, that would be nice to have. Um, and then we'll probably leave it there, I think, maybe for that. Or... Oh, I have a claim on... Yes, I have a claim on the city state of Hellview over there, which is not bad. Um, do I have... What are my pops like in here? Yeah, pretty much all the same. So I don't need any buildings to actually assimilate or change the religion. Uh, manpower's going up. Maybe just some buildings for manpower, to be honest. What about down here? I could build... Um, yeah, these are... This is like pretty much Hellenic. Oh, and it's all being changed, which is all nice. But this is going quite quickly now. As soon as the, the, the right religion is there... Um, it actually works. Um, what's the region? Well, what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to get this army here because they're not really changing. Uh, they're not assimilating that much now. Yeah, it's... Um, the unrest doesn't contribute to it anymore, I don't think, by the looks of it. Or does it? Do I have any unrest over here? Yeah, I have a little bit. Oh, it does actually. So, pop conversion speed and pop assimilation speed. So, it does actually contribute. Do I build another little... I don't know. What do I do here? I'm trying to figure out here if I actually do something. 
Let's check. Let's let's do a test. Let's just put play. Let's take off on detach from region. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, okay, so yeah, it goes up a little bit. Someone died. I don't really care. So it goes down. Yeah. Um, let's leave these guys here. And for the time being, let's put these in Antipolis. Because that's another region, so that's why it's going slowly. Because they, I don't, because they have a little bit of unrest, you see. So maybe if I put him in Antipolis and then assign to the region, can we actually? Yeah, we can maintain our army. It's got twenty-one point five uh, supply limits, so we'll probably have to maintain them over there. Um, I could build a few more. Ah, I don't want to do that now. We'll just put them over there for the time being, and we'll put them on assigned to region. We do need to put a Tomostite on now. We could put... Ooh, he's quite... Whoa, 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 whoa. 12 Charisma, Syngetorix, Magnus. Yeah, hell yeah, you're going into the position, dude. Boom. Definitely, mate. Senate Influence plus 120 for him. So that's cool. So I'm going to put these guys over here quickly. Uh, what's that? Attrition. Yeah. Okay, now that's fine. Now let's assign to the region... Oh, I could need to take off the commander. So we'll take off the commander. So that's been done. And uh, now we'll assign to the region. Uh, boom. And hopefully now it should actually make it go quicker. So I think it's working now. Yeah, it is working. Good. Good, 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 good. And the marketplace has been built in the Salia, which is always good. And yeah, it's popped up things a little bit here, which means a little bit more money for us, which is always nice. Um, I think I'm actually going to do a cut in the video here now, guys. It's been about half an hour, so we'll stop it here. In the next episode, we'll kind of get up to about 10,000, maybe 15,000 manpower. Um, and all quick before I end, we'll do another trade route. Um, where's the trade route? Where's it gone? Oh, here it is. <laughs> uh, we're no longer importing olives. Um, I couldn't import spices. How many slaves do I have? I have 10 slaves. We could do with slave happiness. Oh, it's 100% slave happiness. Um, where do I go for green? Well, let's go for spices. Local citizen output from Iolia. Boom. Get some spices in. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm going to cut the episode here. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please don't hesitate to give it a like. Um, I would really appreciate it. And uh, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Imperator Rome. And I will see you next time for another episode. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.